Hey, Beak. Me? We're going to be talking about engineering contradictions today, and I need some help showing how they work. Me, 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 me. What? Of course, Beaker, it's perfectly safe. You're playing the part of the improving parameter. Me, 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 me. Can you find me somebody to play the part of the worsening parameters? Me, me. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Me, 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 me. Yes, while we wait for Beaker to find somebody to play the worsening parameters, we can get started. Last week, we started our discussion about contradictions. And this week, we'll continue it with engineering contradictions. As Altshuler looked through the patent databases, he discovered that regardless of which industry he reviewed, there was a finite set of solutions that people used to solve difficult problems. He classified this solution set into 40 simple principles. That's it, only 40. Next, and here's some really bright thinking, he realized that the challenges facing each industry were exactly the same too. He classified a set of 39 generalized parameters describing the engineering systems. Altshuler matched the set of 39 generalized parameters to the set of 40 generalized solutions. Creating what amounts to a cheat sheet that provides hints to solutions from a collective database much larger than anyone's individual knowledge base. Here's how it works. As we improve an engineering system, we are by definition improving a parameter of that system. We call that parameter the improving parameter. Me, me, me. Hey, Beak, you're back. I assume you found somebody for me? me, me. Get off me, me kid! On. Huh, I guess that counts. Keep trying and we'll get back with you in a minute. Sometimes, when we improve a parameter in a system, we cause another parameter in the system to worsen. We, of course, call that the worsening parameter. What? What did he say? He called you a worsener parameter. Oh, what? Oh, never mind. Formally, we would use the if-then-but structure to describe the engineering contradiction, or the conflict between two parameters in our system. We would say, if I do something to my system, I get an improving parameter, but I will also get a worsening parameter. To work with the matrix, we have to translate our specific parameters into one of the 39 general parameters that Altshuler used in his matrix. We look at the intersection of the improving parameter rows, and worsening parameter columns. The intersection of these two will provide three to four standard principles used to solve that contradiction set. It's your job to think about those generic principles and apply them to your specific problem. Al Schuler used pen and paper to create his matrix. The beauty of the web is that now the matrix is digital. Trees40.com is a great resource. You simply select your improving parameter and your worsening parameter, and the website will return the principles used most often to resolve that contradiction, and some examples of how those principles are used. Try this one. If one were to siphon kerosene from a container using their mouth, it would work, but it could result in swallowing a dangerous substance. Look up quality of substance versus ease of operation. Using the principles recommended, can you come up with a better solution? We'll talk about it next time. Your homework this week is to review the contradiction pairs that I'll have in my blog. Using trees40.com, look up the principles and see if you can apply them better than simple trade-off and optimization alone. Extra credit for those who can apply more than one principle to the same problem. Uh -huh.